Hello, and thanks for tuning in to IDG's Corporate Update. Today, I'm joined by Paige Tucker, founder, president, and CEO of ProStar. Paige, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Thank you for having me. So Paige, you have an extensive background in developing data management and geographic information systems in the automotive industry. Now you've taken on the critical infrastructure industry, essentially mapping the world beneath our feet. For those who are learning about ProStar for the first time, can you give us an overview of the business? What inspired you to start this company? So I actually grew up in the oil and gas industry in Northern British Columbia. So I'm somewhat familiar uh, with the underground infrastructure and some of the issues facing construction and not knowing where utilities and pipelines are buried. So as a result of that, you know, move forward several years later. And as you mentioned, based on my background in data management and geographic information systems, I decided to apply that to the critical infrastructure industry. Here in the United States, we have 2.5 million miles of paved roads that crisscross the nation. And everyone knows that that infrastructure is becoming dilapidated and in serious need of repair and replacement. It pales in comparison to the underground infrastructure. We have over 35 million miles of buried utilities and pipelines. So how, how do construction companies today find buried utilities? What is the current process for that? It's kind of an antiquated, archaic business process that's been well entrenched for well over 30 years. So number one, a large majority of utilities and pipelines were installed uh, between 50 to 100 years ago well before we had any regulation, any type of compliance or oversight. So a vast majority of it was actually never mapped. No one was really concerned about where these utilities and pipelines were going into the ground because you know no one really sees them, so it really didn't matter. And it was never intended to support this level of population growth that we've experienced over the last 100 years. But what might surprise everyone is that even in the last 50 years, including today, the way that we map the location of buried utilities and pipelines is on paper maps, and that creates wow. a problem. That that sounds very old school. <laughs> so, what is it? Pro, so how does ProStar do things differently? What does your solution look like? So, we consider ourselves the world leader in the development of precision mapping solutions. So, we've designed actually a simple app that works on any standard mobile device, and we have designed the system that can precisely capture, record, and display where utilities and pipelines are buried down to the centimeter. So you capture where the utility or pipeline is buried, and that information is readily available to whoever needs it in a matter of seconds. And that significantly reduces the amount of damages that are incurred on utilities and pipelines during construction. Wow. Is that a common problem to have issues arise because they don't know exactly where things are? Yeah, it's estimated that uh, we have over 500,000 strikes on utilities and pipelines every single year in the United States. So again, just to put that into perspective, that's every minute of every working day, a utility or pipeline is hit during construction. And when you hit a utility or pipeline, some really bad things can happen. You could have serious flooding. You could have dangerous petroleum products that are seeping into our water systems, our businesses wow. interrupted, or many times you could have an explosion. If you hit a high pressure gas line, high probability that you're going to have an explosion, which means that there's probably serious injury that's incurred by the public or the worker, or you could have loss of life. Wow, that is absolutely frightening. You think of those construction crews and the kind of amount of trust that they have to have in the data about what they're, you know, kind of digging into. It's remarkable to me that this isn't something that already exists. You know, is this something that you have a lot of competitors in this space or what are some other companies that are maybe trying to accomplish a similar well, goal? We're, the, we're definitely the first mover uh, in the market. We're the leader. We have over 20 patents. Matter of fact, uh, we have another patent that's getting ready to be issued. So wow. we'll have 21 patents issued, which demonstrates that, that we are the pioneer. So we are first mover to the market. And uh, we onboarded, you know, a lot of major construction companies. We had a government agency that mandated our software in the state of Colorado. But wow. we're also working with the leading equipment manufacturers. We integrated into their equipment. So as first mover in the market, we're starting to establish ourselves as the leader. But the good news is we are starting to see 
some competition that's starting to enter the marketplace, which is good because you don't want to be the lone ranger out there trying to push this into the market. You want to get right. to the point where there's other companies also educating the market. And we're also starting to see more, more of a, a pull. In fact, uh, the American Society for Civil Engineers just changed their guidelines and standards on what's acceptable as far as how utilities and pipelines are identified and that information uh, is shared and what qualifies as acceptable quality data and it positions our software very well. I'm sure a lot of people sleep better at night knowing that they have you know, your technology now to rely on for these sort of projects. The construction industry is going to inevitably go, go through a digital transformation and I like to feel that, uh, that we're leading the way. That's very exciting. Can you share a little bit maybe about your business model? Yeah, so as I mentioned, we uh, have designed a mobile app. It's basically mobile and cloud. We sell our software based on a SaaS model, which is software as a service. So our clients sign up and then they pay us annually uh, to use our service. And we have small clients, medium-sized clients, all the way up to one of our clients is the largest infrastructure construction company in North America. Wow. Okay. Wow. You've already got uh, some big names, obviously, already adopting your product. That's incredible. Uh, thank you so much, Paige, for this introduction to ProStar. We really look forward to following your story. If people want more information, what's the best way to go about that? Uh, www.prostarcorp.com, or you can just go to www.pointman.com, which is our flagship product. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me, Paige, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.